Drop a like on the video if you want Clombo to return to Fortnite. The next Fortnite update is nearly here. We could finally see the return of the beloved Clombo, but there is plenty more going down in this update and the future of Fortnite, starting with the opening of the vault. Since the start of season two, a ton of map changes have taken place, and one in particular has caught everybody's interest, the vault inside Command Canyon. Weird noises can be heard if you get close enough to it, which has got people to speculate that it could be a number of different things the imagined order have got trapped in there. The first possibility being Colombo. After the vaulting of Colombo last season, everyone was upset that he disappeared come season two. The huge friendly giant roamed around the map, giving you loot, easy mobility, but then he just disappeared. People are suggesting that Colombo will return soon as he's been captured by the imagined order and detained inside this huge vaulted door. Just to back this up, even last season, Epic Games tweeted saying that if anybody harms Colombo, then they'll destroy Tilted Towers. Colombo is gone, but Tilted Towers is still here. So that means Colombo is still on the Fortnite island, right? The other possibility is that the monster is inside the vault. With the finding of the skull last season and audio clips of the monster groaning, his return is imminent. And for the IO to win this war, everyone is suggesting the monster will have to return. And where would the imagined order keep this monster as their last resort? Obviously inside the vault. It has to be. In this week's update, fingers crossed we could see an update to this vault and finally find out what's inside. This might actually happen in this update, but something that is 100% coming to Fortnite is the addition of jetpacks. With the addition of the no-build playlist in full force, jetpacks would be a great addition to the game, right? Well, they're on their way as seen in this sneak little preview inside the no-build trailer. It's been ages since we've seen jetpacks in Fortnite, not including the Galactus Live event, and with the return of jetpacks, the mobility with them is going to be awesome, especially after the Spider-Man web grapplers got removed. These jetpacks, you're able to aim and shoot whilst hovering the sky, which is a little bit different from before, and they'll be located on the blimps in multiple locations. Yeah, I found myself falling off of a blimp in the no-build game mode multiple times and wish I had a jetpack pack. They're finally going to be here. But that wasn't the only surprise we saw in this trailer. Yes, LMGs are making a return to Fortnite and they could be added even as early as the next update coming this Tuesday. It's been quite a long while since we saw these in game and it makes sense for them to come back right being a war themed season. Another weapon on its way is a revamped pump and as well as that also seen in this season's trailer was a heavy sniper. It's coming back. With the addition of new jetpacks found on the blimps, it's also been found that some of the blimps on the map will start to move after each update so make sure to keep your eyes on these before we destroy three of them as we help the seven take back and reclaim some of the map later on in this season we've had reboot vans for a while now they've been a great addition to the game and epic games are working on something awesome to upgrade to them introducing the deployable reboot item like apex legends it's an on-the-go reboot beacon you can carry with you so no more push up to reboot vans and getting killed. If you manage to find this device, you can reboot your teammate from anywhere on the map. It's currently in creative mode right now and this is what it looks like, but it's going to be making its way to Battle Royale here very soon. You've got friends and teammates that are always going down, make sure to let them know about this. You might also want to tell them that ballers are returning this season. Ballers were an essential part of movement around the map back in Chapter 1 Season 8 and we've had a bit of an upgrade to them this time around, with their health being increased to 400 HP. They might not be coming in this update, but we'll see the return of them here very, very soon. On top of that, both planes and helicopters will be added this season. It seems like Epic Games are definitely adding to the mobility options in Fortnite this season. And you're gonna need them as well, because the Wolverine NPC is coming back this season with revamped claws. Weeping Woods was terrorised for a whole season due to this guy, with his fast sprinting that we've now got in game ourselves and a crazy claw spin attack which a mythic boss has now got at the blimp. Where he'll be located on the map is still unknown but I can't wait for him to be added to the game. I also can't wait for lightsabers. Yep, the beginning of the season introduced so much but in the files of the game, lightsabers were re-added, meaning they could be here in Fortnite very very soon. Even as early as this update this Tuesday. But my guess is that they'll be added around May time due to the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series that's coming out. Fortnite, they've had a great relationship with Star Wars and have done many collabs in the past, so, so I can't wait to see lightsabers finally make
making a return. My hope is that they'll come to the game added as like a pickaxe style, just like the gameplay here. That would be so cool. Something everyone is not too excited about is the removal of the Daily Bugle. It looks like it's definitely happening. We thought it was going to be removed going into Season 2 as it's part of the Spider-Man collab. But I think we we're all quite shocked when we jumped into Season 2 and it was still there. But it doesn't look like it's going to be around for too much longer. The blimp above is set to get destroyed soon by us and the Seven as we overtake the outpost. But in this loading screen that has been leaked, a volcano based point of interest has been overrun and destroyed and turned into an IO outpost. It would seem like the perfect way to get rid of the Daily Bugle as it turns into a battlefield for this war. I mean, it's got to go at some point during this season. I'm kind of excited to see it go and turn into something else and one thing everyone is really excited for is all the Fortnite collab skins in the works and the Fortnite Moonlight collab is up next. Soon during this season you'll be able to purchase collab skin and this is what it could potentially look like. This concept art is amazing and Fortnite have got a ton of other collab skins in the works after recently teaming up with Paramount. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Spongebob, Avatar, Star Trek and a ton more. The possibilities with this collab is endless and I mean we've already got a Star Trek emote and we already have a Spongebob emote in game. I'm sure there's going to be a ton more on the way. These collab skins and emotes will be awesome but everyone is more focused on Creative 2.0 as it's getting closer and closer. The announcement for Creative 2.0 put everyone on high alert as it's pretty much gonna change the way we play Fortnite forever. It'll be like Minecraft or Roblox, an open world sandbox where you can create pretty much whatever you want. It's gonna be like modding in Fortnite. It's been hinted at for quite a while now and it's confirmed to come out in 2022 but recently we got an update. It looks like it could be here with us sooner than we think. Keep your eyes peeled for the news on this. You might be surprised to hear about all the new items that will be joining us before the end of the season. They include the airstrike to help in battle, shield bubbles which are an awesome and easy way to heal up in the no build LTM. They're, they're coming pretty handy. We can also expect the shield aura to finally make an appearance. This is a robot that automatically heals you and your team on the go. We can also expect the rift to go. We haven't seen them in ages. Boogie bombs and even balloons. They're all going to be making an appearance at some time during this season. And that's everything you need to know about future updates coming to Fortnite. Some even happening as soon as this Tuesday in the first Season 2 update. If you're thinking about buying anything from the Fortnite item shop, make sure to pop in code MMCS. And I've picked this video out on screen here especially for you. I reckon you'll enjoy it. I'll see you over there.